What's up everyone and welcome to episode 13 of the solo to SSL of the series where I walk you through play by play of how I'd rank up as a top 0.1% rated coach myself. In this episode, we're sitting high champ three. So we're just under grand champ. And unfortunately you'll see in a second, we had to deal with quite a bit of lag, but good news is the lag forced me to really simplify things down. So in this one, we basically had to go back to basics when it comes to mechanics, but hopefully if you're watching and you're not, you know, super mechanical yourself, or you're just sitting anywhere below that GC range, this episode especially should be super helpful for you. Or if you're new here and you don't know me, welcome. My name's Luke. I've got almost 4,000 in-game hours myself, but where I spend most of my hours is in my coaching program called the Grand Champ Roadmap. The Grand Champ Roadmap, or GCR, is now Rocket League's number one live coaching program, where we specialize in taking platinum, diamond, and champ rated players, potentially including you watching up to grand champ in just six weeks flat at the time i'm recording this intro here we have just 10 spots left for enrollment on the week so if that's you and you're sitting flat through champ and you want to speed things up on the climb to grand champ dm my discord with the keyword 13 and we can talk details about how we can make it happen hit the first link in the description to join my discord and dm someone on my team below otherwise let's get into the games all right uh something we got jj on our team and we're gonna run it all right go for kickoff i'm gonna speed flip once again i'm trying not to dominate these kickoffs but still be reasonable reasonably quick Paul's gonna come center here i want to go for a shot but it looks like he hasn't nope he's entirely whiffing so i'll let this guy go and then maybe get in the way and stop him i think he got a reset there which is impressive i'm just gonna pass it back to my teammate though because they're not going and we should have fine control here my teammate is centering the ball which is interesting i'm gonna try to get it away from the center my teammate should have that just fine and now we'll grab their boost and come mid. Wait for a center, potentially. I want to go, but my teammate's still up, so I kind of just have to wait back. Going to get one soft touch and then maybe a follow through. And that'll lead to a goal. The key here is if my teammate's going to keep going, you have to go back, right? Doesn't matter what you want to do. You have to play around your teammate if you want to rank up. If you're solo queuing, it's the truth. Going to let teammate go for kickoff. That was a suspicious kickoff, but it works. Going to hit this ball over to the side. Make it awkward. It looks like he's going to miss this nice so i can just hit it around one and then go for a follow-up shot and that'll be a goal trying to keep it as simple as possible can i go for an air dribble here yes but just timing the up bounce to hit it over one and then a simple shot i mean we're so close to the net any shot is likely gonna go in we'll cheat up here ball's gonna pinch off to the side maybe just get a shot on net is this mechanical? Yes, but you can do this, right? I mean, this is just timing up the shot. Once again, if you were watching last episode, you know, stop going for corner boost. Cheat up on the kickoff. Cheat up. Please stop going for corner boost. You learned your lesson, Miramas. Why are you going for corner boost still? Terrible. I overcommitted there. That was so bad. That's my fault. Don't take away the fact that you should go for corner boost. I just overcommitted. That was terrible for me. That was terrible. Don't do what I did, but don't go for corner boost. I promise. All right. Ball's going to come off to the side. My teammate wants it. He has no boost, but there goes my teammate. All right. Now we play defense. This guy is dribbling the ball in a straight line. It almost worked, but it didn't. Dribble the ball on angles, folks. It will help. This guy's going to boom it way over, so we just turn around and now face the other direction. My teammate's recentering for them. We're just going to chill. We're so fine. Just don't panic. I'm just going to keep chilling. We're so fine. Just let my teammate throw the ball away and then play. De then I play defense. That's kind of the name of the game today. Right? That's kind of the name of the game. It's not on net, so I'm just going to wait. Watch the redirect. All right. Just keep... Don't panic. My teammate wants corner boost, and he's pinching it away. Amazing. Keep going for it. All right. We're in champ, baby. What did you expect? There goes the teammate. And we just play defense. Just let them hit it into my corner. Keep hitting it into my corner. You get a 50-50. Block one. Maybe this is a chance for a scoring opportunity. Nope. They're just going to keep hitting it into the corner. Keep hitting it into the corner. All right. This is Rocket League. And now my teammate. Is he going to control it? If he controls it, we win. We just score. Straight up. Oh, he tried to fake him eight times. It almost worked. All right. My teammate's out. It's our time to shine. This is it. Take notes, chat. 
Ready? We're going to hit it around one. Control the corner boost. Yikes. I'm going to spin out a little bit. We have a 2v1 here. Teammate will control it up. This is an opportunity. Wait. Play's developing. He's going to center it. Teammate scores. Almost. We're going to wait back here. He is just pre-jump for no reason, so we get a nice beat on him. If teammate turns here, it's totally free, but, you know, that's fine. My teammate's grabbing boost, as one does. And we're just going to play defense. Once again, we're just going to play defense. That's what we do here. They're going to keep booming the ball. Ping pong style. I don't know who's playing offense and who's playing defense this game, but I'm just so content to just observe this match. All right, they're all over committed, so I'm just going to get one touch forward and then a shot on net, and it almost goes in. If that's a more powerful shot, we score. But once again, I'm just going to get back post, get behind my buddy now. We're fine. We're not fine on the follow-up. I should have been in net. I'm going to hit him with the my bad. So ideally, what we want to see here is we want to layer our defense, right? So my, if my teammate forces him to take a shot early, then I can take the shot. Then I can make a save, but if my teammate waits back, it's a little awkward. I should have made the second one, though. Oh, well. Get a decent 50-50. Going to keep watching the play. Not going to grab side boost here because I want to stay relevant. Teammate might get beaten here. That's fine. Just get one touch. Don't commit. Keep controlling the side boost and the corner boost. We should be safe as long as we do that. Teammate gets a nice beat. I want to go, but my teammate's just taking the ball into their corner. Nice and safe for him. Now the ball's coming to me, so I can maybe go for a shot. Soft. Teammate overcommits a little bit, so we play defense. That's what we do. Getting a little bit of lag. Whoop. Ow. I don't know what's going on, but I, you know, you can kind of expect what will happen. You know, orange team hits it into the corner. Uh, my guy booms the ball away. We lose possession. Ball comes center. We hit it into the corner. They just keep taking weak shots on net. We can clear the ball away. And do we score? Well, no, not quite. Once again, orange team booms the ball away. What? What? You're kidding me. There's no way. That's not what happened on my screen. What? Come on. Can we get a replay? I need a replay on that. Somebody's got to run that back. All right. We got to win this game despite the lag. We're going to have to play off of instinct, truly. We just have to read where we think the ball's going to go. Teammate's going to hit it up. I have no boost here. I can maybe just try to get in the way. Hopefully my teammate controls it into our corner. Nice. It's in our corner. We play back for corner boost. Ball might come center here. He's going to hit this off into our corner again. I don't know when he's done making his touch. I don't know what's happening. If my teammate scores this one-on-one, -on -one, maybe. I'll take it around wide. Go for a shot. It's so... I... I don't know what's happening. Do you know what's happening? I don't know what's happening. All right. Now we just have to not throw. Don't cheat up. Ball's going to come center. Just put a tough shot on that. He'll completely whiff. And then we get a follow-up. No. Fake jump. Fake jump. And that's game. All right. On to game two. We got uh, JTS. Or no. We got some uh, figures. Uh, block. Me and block. Sick and block. Oh my, he's good. He's so good. Gonna hit it around one. Maybe get mechanical here. Take to the air. Free flip. Take it to the finish line. No. Oh, but block follows up. What a shot. Oh my gosh. All right, we'll cheat up. Ball's gonna come to the side here. I'll just let him hit it, grab boost, and way back. My, I'm, I'm ahead of my teammate here, so I'm going to push up just so my teammate knows I'm going. And I'm just trying to clear the defenders here. I'm not really trying to beat my teammate, although we do. And now that I know my teammate's behind me, I'm just going to buy time. Just buy time until eventually you can hit it around one, and now we have a 2v1. I hear him coming behind me. Unfortunately, we aren't able to get a good flick, but, you know, that's the idea. My teammate makes a nice center. I wasn't there for it. That's my bad. I'm just going to watch shot here. Keep it in the corner best we can. Teammate's going to take it up the field. We're almost creating a goal here. And I got kind of got to wait. Just trying to be a body here, not overcommit. Just keep letting them boom it. Nice. He'll boom it here. They look quite awkward. Maybe hit it off the backboard, make it awkward on them. Surprised that didn't go in. I'll let my teammate go. I see he's there. 
want to give him a chance. 50 is going to go to the side. I want to grab half boost and just turn back. Watch shot here. Just be careful. Now that my teammate's not going, I'm going to go up. And, okay. So, is this, like, sort of lucky? Yeah, it's a lucky 50. But the reason I'm going is because I know my teammate's back and I see them double committing. So, it's like, it's risk-reward, right? Like, it, I don't know. Did I get lucky? Yeah. But it's because I'm, I'm, I'm taking a winning decision, right? Making a, win a winning play. Teammate will grab boost. So I'm just going to wait half here. He looks like he's going to get a good center, but I just don't want to overcommit. You know, it's hard there. Yeah, I, I just don't want to get scored on on a breakaway. I'm just play playing more patient. No need to force things. Going to keep letting them booming, boom the ball. They're low boost here, so I, I could have gone and beat, beat him. I, sh I should have gone there. That's all right. Just going to grab corner and watch shot. He's going to maybe have a redirect. Not much. Just keep letting him hit the ball if he wants to. All right, his play's done. Hit it off the side. Maybe wait till it comes center. I almost get a follow-up. My teammate. Whoa. He just put a heater. Somehow it doesn't go in. All right, I'll get ball now. Going to hit it on the up bounce. Jump. I'm going to fake. And then hit one more. <laughs> like, outplaying champs is not hard because nobody pressures you. So you just kind of got to get the ball closer to the net, and then you can do whatever you want, right? All right, we'll cheat up here. All right, to go for kickoff. Grab half boost here. I'm going to rotate back. My teammate has a better angle, so I'm just going to get behind him. Give him the easy easy play. Now it looks like this is going to be awkward for him, so I want to make a touch. Try to try to make life a little easier. This blue guy looks awkward, so I'll let him hit the ball. My teammate's got a good touch still. I'm going to wait center. Maybe my teammate can get it center here. Almost, but, you know, I'm not going to commit. This guy looks like he doesn't have the best control, so I can just jump in and get a 50. Looking for boost here. I got boost, and now I get back post. It's clinical, right? Teammate looks like he's taking it to the air. He kind of tossed the ball here, so I'm going to move close. Oh, he's flip resetting almost. Ball's going to go up to the side. I'm just going to try to hit it away so that they, they don't have an easy shot. Now we have the ball. Once again, we have a 2v1 here, so I'm trying to jump and move the ball up the field quick. Teammate will hit it up. Maybe get a double tap here. Oh, nice save. Fair enough. We'll get back post once again and just rinse repeat. Back post, let my teammate get it. Teammate booms the ball into their corner, and now we have to reset. He gets a demo, but you hit the ball into their corner. That was your mistake, right? Able to get a good takeoff there and almost air dribble it through. I'm able to use my neutral jump there to assist my takeoff. A little bit mechanical, so it's probably good that I didn't score it, but they're just over committing now. Oh, my teammate will hit it. I'm going to cut this in quickly. Fake. And just move back and grab boost. There's no play that is productive for me there. So I'm just going to wait back until my teammate makes a pass. And then we can finally go. And go for the ball. Hit it in the corner. Grab, grab boost and wait back here. And there's the forfeit. All right. On to game three. On to game three. All right. We'll cheat up here. And we got Yawner on the team. Let's go. 1380. Let's see if we can break into 1400. Almost. He said his ping might be rough. We'll see. Hopefully the connection's all right. Woof. All right. That was glitchy, but we're back. All right. This guy is super pre-jumped. I don't know why, but he is. We're going to get a good 50-50, and uh, this is a, li a little unlucky. Gonna try to I could have kept that ball in my corner more. That's probably my mistake. If I keep that ball more in the corner, I got to stay more goal side. But that's all right. We'll blame it on the lag, I guess. Cheat up here. Ball's going to come to the side. I'll let my teammate take. That's fine. I can go back for corner boost. This ball's going to bounce high, I think. Nope, it did not. Good thing I waited back. I'm going to play it high over one, and now we can maybe follow it up over the other. Oh, maybe get a double tap. No, they just all miss. My teammate would have a free open if he's in position, but, you know, I did miss, so I guess it, you know, it is sort of my fault, right? Okay, now everybody's just missing. My teammate's waiting farther back here. We score very easily, but he's pushed up very far in every situation, so he's never there for a follow-up. But he's going to flip reset on him. This is the problem with Chad. He's so good. He Like, look, you do... He could be GC3. He's better than me. He's more mechanical than me. But I swear, positioning in these champ lobbies, it's incredible. Anyways, nice shot. Hit him with a nice shot. Move on. All right, I'm going to center this ball. Like, he's just chronically pushed up so far. 
Like, if he's just waiting back in any of these situations, we score so easy. But he's just always pushed way too far up. I don't know. Hopefully, learning from it. And then he booms the ball into the corner. All right. See, this is the, like, people are, he's so mechanic. He's such a good, the, the only reason I'm highlighting this, guys, is not because I'm, like, trying to be toxic or, like, you know, blame my teammate. But I hope you guys see, like, opportunities where if you control the ball and, you know, you don't push up so far on offense, life, life is just easy, right? You know what I'm saying? Put the ball off the wall. He might miss. Nice. He fully misses. And this guy is now on defense. So we just got to take the ball up the field quick. Keep a bounce going. And almost get a tip over him. And rotate back here. Wait center. My teammate hits. We can maybe score. That's going to come back center. Not the best touch from me. But we can keep it in and keep this awkward on him. Just keep it awkward on him. Maybe get a bump. Trying to let my teammate go. And if I'm the one waiting back, I'm in position. No, but he gets a bump. Nice play by him. I think he just saved his team a goal. This ball might come center, so I'm just going to hit it. Not the best play for me. That's my bad. Hit him with the sorry. Should have let him clear this ball. Didn't trust my teammate. Should have trusted his backboard play. That's my fault. Totally my fault. Here, we'll wait back. I can grab half boost and then maybe go for a shot here. Almost. Good try, Luke. My teammate's got it. Nope. Third time's a charm. Oh, my lags. Hopefully, we'll come back down to earth. Grab corner boost. Get back. Maybe. Oh, my. What's happening? I don't know what's happening. Gonna hit it up. Go for an air dribble. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Is it in their net? It's just in their net. I don't know what's happening. All right, we'll cheat up. Looks like he'll have possession here. So I'm just going to grab corner boost and play back. Luckily, he booms it away again. Why? Because we're champ. We boom ball away. That's what we do. All right, beat one. Shot past the other. Almost gonna try to get by my teammate here make it easy on him he gets dunked that's fine grab corner boost try to position center what all right balls in the center again one touch up oh, i'm so confused how is this ball bouncing the way it is somebody explain whoa whoa center i don't know what's happening i'm just gonna get back abort mission back post when in doubt, get to the back post. Uh, what's happening? Here comes the ball. All right, back post, back post. When I get scared, I just go back post, and then things usually work out. One touch into the corner. He's going to center it. My teammate should have this totally fine. Nice. Get back around to the back post. Play here. Should be fine. Hit it out to the side. Okay, we're cool. Playing on like two seconds delayed reaction time to everything, but that's fine. Just gonna gonna show off the positioning, right? Oh my. Okay. Just a good chance to show off the positioning, I guess. Grab corner boost. Wait at half here. I'm very scared. If my teammate gets beat, I have like no reaction time. Okay, hit it off to the side. Fake. No, oh, he hits it by. All right, back post again. Get to the back post. Play safe. Play behind the teammate. Let the teammate restart. He's passing? I don't know. All right. Ball's here now. We'll cheat up. And they are... Oh, my. All right. One-on-one. -on -one, teammate? Almost. Once again, just keep letting them boom it. Nice. Keep hitting it into my corner. We're fine. We're so fine. Control corner boost. Play back post. Nothing bad can happen. And that's game three. Biggest takeaways, chat. Don't boom the ball into their corner when you're lagging and have no connection. Go back post. So with that being said, chat, tell anybody who's watching on YouTube, click the video here. Watch the next episode. Thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, what are you waiting for? Click, click the link. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye, YouTube.